Hi. Welcome to our cryptography session. Today, we are gonna look at one of the block cipher mode of operation, output feedback mode. Before we proceed, there are several key terms we will be using later, and I want to make sure you understand these terms properly. The first one is called initialization vector, IV, which is just a random block of bits or string. The IV is just to provide randomness to the encryption, so that two same message will not have the same output after encrypting with the same key. The next one is the XOR operation. The operation basically take two messages and compare them bit by bit. If both bits are equal, the output bit will be zero, otherwise, the output bit will be one. To visualize the operation, look at the example on the right. 0100 and 1101 gives the output of 1001. The plain text here means the message that is not encrypted, whereas the cipher text here means the encrypted message. Okay, now, let us look at some key points about OFB. First of all, the initialization vector, IV, is encrypted together with the key. Then, the output, or the encrypted IV, is XORed with the plain text block to produce the cipher text block. The encrypted IV, or the output here, will be brought forward as the IV of the second round, and the process is repeated until all plain text blocks are transformed into cipher text. Now let us look at some application of the OFB and DES encryption. Since DES uses a 64 bits block size and 64 bits key, the IV in this case is also a 64 bits block. The IV will be encrypted together with the key to produce a 64 bits output, which is XORed with the first plain text block, P1, to get the first cipher text block, C1. That is just round one of the encryption. The output produced, O1, will be brought forward as the IV of the next round, and encrypted again, to produce the output, O2. The second output, will again, be XORed, with the second plain text block, P2, and we get our second cipher text block, C2. The operation then continues, until all the plain text has been encrypted, which we can hear, denote as round N. Based on the pattern seen, we can say that, the initialization vector, IV, used in round N, will be the output from the previous round of encryption, therefore denoted as N-1. The IV is also encrypted, and its output will again be XORed with the last plain text block, PN. By doing so, we get our last cipher text block, CN. To obtain the full cipher text, we simply collect and merge all the cipher text block. Now, we got our cipher text ready. Okay. Up to now, what we have talked about is the DES encryption using OFB. What about the decryption part? Well, the decryption part works exactly the same as encryption, but reversed. The only difference is that, this time, the output will be XORed with the cipher text block, instead of the plain text block. By doing so, logically, we are reversing the XOR operation in the encryption, and we can obtain the plain text block very easily. As we mentioned earlier, in decryption, the only change is to swap the plain text and cipher text. The other operation remains the same, where the IV will also be propagated to the next round of decryption, and the operation repeats until all the cipher text has been decrypted. Simple, right? As you would have anticipated, to obtain the plain text, what we do here is to combine all the plain text block. Now, we got our plain text decrypted, and that is pretty much all about the decryption. Before we end the session, let's briefly look at some of the advantages and disadvantages of OFB. One good thing about OFB is that, the bit errors in transmission do not propagate to other parts except the block it is located in, since the encrypted cipher text is not brought forward to another round. However, that also makes OFB more vulnerable to message stream modification attack, which is something we will not be talking about in this session. With that, we are all done with output feedback mode, OFB. Let me know if the video is useful in the comments, and don't forget to like the video. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. You guys stay safe, and stay awesome.